The first stop is not far from San Diego, just over two hours by car. The place is Victorville, where you might just run across an old friend. Some like the climate out in New Mexico, but give me back my sunny Tennessee. If the voice and the face aren't at all familiar, then you've probably missed all of his 90 feature films and 101 half-hour television shows. If you haven't, then you know this man as the greatest television and movie cowboy star of all time. Don't get too close. I'm, I'm 75, you know. That's some of those close-ups you had down there are going to look like I'm 175. In 1987, in person, Roy Rogers is just as down-home, just as friendly as the character he played, because he never played anybody but himself. Well, even if somebody did it for revenge, how would a stranger happen to be on Whirly Gig property? I never had a lesson on anything. No guitar lessons, no acting lessons. So when I gave me a script, I said, well, how would I do it if I was in that position? And I tried to do that all of my, through my whole acting. I became Roy Rogers, and I, I didn't have to play extra parts or uh, some other character. I just played Roy. Roy was born Leonard Sly in Cincinnati, Ohio, and was raised on a farm with his three sisters outside that city. He came to California in 1931 and soon was singing with the legendary Sons of the Pioneer. He broke into the movies kind of accidentally by walking uninvited onto a Republic Pictures studio set. So I couldn't get in the studio and uh, I waited till the uh, people started coming back from uh, lunch and I walked in with some of the extras and just got inside the gate and a hand fell on my shoulder and I thought it was a guard, you know. He was stopped not by a guard, but by Republic's Western Pictures producer, who realized what he had, put Roy immediately to work, and the rest, as they say, is history. You got your camera ready? Okay. You want it with the kids? Yeah. I was in first grade in New York City when I last saw Roy Rogers in person. His road show was playing Madison Square Garden. Pat Brady stormed around the place in Nellie Bell the Jeep, and Roy and Dale on Trigger and Buttermilk paraded to the cheers and delight of thousands of young fans. It was a real big moment for a city kid. I think uh, if you get too far away from the common horse sense of life, why uh, you miss a lot. You get a lot of the tinsel that don't count. And that's Hollywood? <laughs> Well, a lot of it. Roy lost his first wife after childbirth, then married Dale Evans 39 years ago last New Year's. They have 16 grandchildren and 11 great-grandchildren. They have had nine natural, adopted, or foster children, but three have died. I suppose those are things that we're not supposed to understand, but uh, thank God that we have somebody that you can look to for a little prayer once in a while and help. The life and times of Roy Rogers and Dale Evans are neatly arranged in a vast and extensive collection of memorabilia that is the Roy Rogers Museum. For 22 years, Roy and Dale have lived on a ranch nearby. Roy's dog Bullet is preserved here, as is Dale's horse Buttermilk, and the mount that was far more friend than animal to Roy, his beloved Trigger. Uh, Trigger was just flawless. He was the greatest. He just had a terrific rein on him. He was a really cowboy pony. You know, he could, he could spend on a dime and give you nine cents change. <laughs> Max Bear, and Edgar Bergen, Diana Shore, and old Hoot Gibson. I liked, he was my favorite back in those days. Of all the people Roy has met in his 56 years of show business, he was especially close to the late Alfalfa Schweitzer of the Argan comedies and with the late George Gabby Hayes, with whom he made 60 pictures. I just love Gabby. He was uh, a great actor, and he, he was like my father, my brother, and my buddy all wrapped up in one. And I, uh, I uh, respected him so much as a, an actor uh, because he was so natural. What was that? Uh, don't pay no attention to it. It's just a mice. Sure, glad to see you, son. How would you describe Roy Rogers? If you had to describe yourself. I'm like Popeye, I am what I am. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's all I am. I can't think of anything else, I just, that's, I'm just me. 
And that's just fine with his millions of fans around the world. Generations of people who've always known that Roy is the genuine article, that Roy Rogers is the real thing. You have Happy trails. Thank you. Trails to you. Till we meet again. Doug McAllister, News 8, Victorville.